Bed Bugs, a B movie fan fiction by Poppy Sapphire. Honey, I'm home, Barry called as he flew into the apartment. Hey, Barry, how did the case go? Vanessa responds from the table where she is sipping a cup of coffee. Well, it's been really difficult. I mean, cows are pretty much the main food source for humans, but I think I'm getting somewhere. Barry buzzes down to the table, landing next to a waiting cup of coffee. The strange couple sit in silence, deep in thought, for what feels like forever. Vanessa? Yes, Barry. What is it? Barry pauses before responding. Well, I've been thinking, and I, well, I mean, I... Whatever it is, you can tell me, Vanessa interrupts sweetly. Well, you see, we've been together for a while now, Barry says, staring into Vanessa's eyes. And and I think it might be a good time to take our relationship to the next level. I mean, you and Kevin have been broken up for a while now, and we've been together for a very long time. Vanessa looks down while Barry stares at her intently, awaiting her answer. Wow, Barry, I never... I never expected this, but I agree with you. I do think it is time to move our relationship forward. Barry's little face lights up, and a sly grin starts to rise on his little bee face. He flies up to Vanessa's mouth, giving her a gentle kiss on the lips. His tiny bee hand reaches up softly, caressing the area above her lip. The kiss deepens and Barry finds the majority of his head between Vanessa's lips and she stumbles into her bedroom. Barry pulls his head out of her lips, catching his breath. He moves to press his lips and vibrating body against her face, tracing her jawline down to her neck. I want you, all of you, Barry, Vanessa coos, and she pulls off her shirt. Don't worry, honey. I'll make you buzz with happiness. You're my only queen tonight. He copies, pulling off his sweater, and dives his completely exposed bee body into Vanessa's revealed honey sex. She falls down onto the bed as Barry flaps his miniature wings against her. She rolls onto her side, reaching down to unbutton her pants as Barry flies behind her to unclip her bra. How do these things work? He mumbles under his breath as he struggles to get it undone. After a few minutes of struggling, he gets it undone, and the bra falls to the floor. Vanessa had gotten her pants off, revealing black and yellow hexagonal printed panties. Barry automatically felt aroused. I'm going to fill you with my sweet honey, Vanessa says Barry. Vanessa smiles and slides her panty off before kicking them to the floor. Barry goes down playfully buzzing against her revealed hexagon. He teases her with his vibrating body, never quite entering her entrance. Her hands clench the covers of the bed and she starts to moan softly. Oh, oh Barry, Please stick your finger in me already, she cries. Vanessa was fed up with all the teasing. As you wish, I, my queen. Make sure not to scream too much when I make my honey deep inside of you. He dives in, pulling his way up until he makes it just far enough inside of her. Vanessa tightens her muscle and grides on the bed as she feels his little wings flapping against her. Barry licks her insides, collecting the dripping nectar, which causes her to hold her breath until he finishes. He realizes that he should probably please her more. He takes his enlarged stinger, pointing away from her, opening and flies backwards, lodging it deep within her. She lets out a scream as he starts to move back and forth pushing deeper every time. This results in her producing so much liquid 
that Barry is afraid he might drown. But he quickly drinks it up. It was so hot inside her entrance that Barry thought he might get burned. Luckily, he felt something building inside of him too. He was finally ready to shoot his honey into her. He vibrates his body harder and thrusts as fast as he can until honey shoots from him into the deepest parts of Vanessa. Barry flies out of her entrance, covered in honey. She reaches down, touching herself and shaking from the impact. She looks down to see honey seeping out of her as well. Oh, Barry, that was so amazing. Come here so that I can reward you for your great work. Vanessa's tongue is out, and she's licking all the honey from her hand. Barry buzzes over, waiting to her tongue. She licks him clean of the honey, running her tongue around over every inch of Barry's body, lingering on his stinger while she finishes drops down to the pillow beside her. Exhausted from his work, they both roll onto the sides of the bed so they can stare into each other's eyes. Barry, this was a great idea. I'm so glad we could take our relationship to the next level. I can't wait to see what's next for us. I, I love you. She trails off as she falls asleep. Barry places a gentle kiss on her forehead and flies back down to the bed wrapping himself in the covers and slowly falling asleep. One month later, Barry, Barry, Bar- Barry, we need to talk. What? What's wrong? What's wrong, honey? Y- you might want to sit down, Barry, she said while gesturing to his chair. Barry flew hesitantly to his head chair. He did not know what this could mean. With tears in her eyes, Vanessa looked at him and sobbed. Barry, Barry, I'm late. What? You're late? You haven't sold enough flowers before the winter? Honey, you know we don't have to worry about money. It's no problem. She shakes her head. No, Barry, I'm I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh, he did not know what to do. He flew into the air, hovering before, breaking out into a smile. This is great. We're going to have a family now. I can't wait to tell my parents. Oh, and of course, I should probably tell Adam, too. He starts flying around wildly, mumbling to himself. Vanessa was filled with joy that he had taken it so well. She rests her hand on her stomach, staring at it. Even if the world rejects you as a monster, know that I will always love you, she gently said to the child inside of her. Everything was going according to her plan. Vanessa knew that as soon as this child was born, it would give her the power to become queen of all bees. She would create an empire of hybrids produced from her womb to invade the earth. Before long, she would be able to control the entire world. She would be the one to determine whether or not the bees depollinated, so they would have no choice but to surrender to her. She would let out a giggle, and slowly went up behind Barry, who was still mumbling, and smashed him with Italian vogue. He was just the pawn in her plan for world domination, and now that he was out of the way, nothing could stop her. She let out a cackle and sipped her coffee slowly. She was going to be the queen of bees. The end.